So Nigeria have finally arrived in Volgograd, getting ready for their match against Iceland. Joining me now is the Nigerian Football Federation Vice President Shehu Diko. Shehu, thank you for joining us here on Questi Sports. I'm going to begin by asking you, following that loss to Croatia in the first game for Nigeria, what's the atmosphere like in camp at the moment? Well, uh, at the moment it's very good, very brilliant. You know, the players were quick to put the loss behind them and um, the team, the technical crew and everybody, the federation uh, came together and started working on what to do because, uh, yes, uh, the first round is three matches. Every team have one left line and we have lost our left line already, so everybody knows that. So we can't afford to play again with another left line. So everybody is focused to do uh, what is needed to get the results to make sure we qualify to the next level. In terms of doing what is needed to qualify out of the group, we saw Nigeria conceding again set pieces as haunted Nigeria for years. Have you been working hard on those? Well, it's not Nigeria per se. As many clubs in this tournament have been haunted by the uh, set pieces. Many, many countries lost their games because of the set pieces, yes. The team has been working very, very seriously on that. Uh, I think the, the Ganaro and his team are really working to improve on that. We are already very good at that, actually, but mistakes have to happen before you can consider a goal, you know. It's football. Without mistakes, there won't be any goal anywhere. But uh, I think we should work very hard to minimize uh, those mistakes. Uh, the players, the team are very pain on the, on the lost because if you go and review the game, the first shot on target was a penalty. And that was a mistake, and, and then, and then the, the first goal was an own goal also from the, from the set pieces. Uh, so those things, uh, they have to maintain their head and make sure they focus on the game and until the last minute of the game. Uh, I think that is, uh, for the next game, there will be big changes on that and they will be much focused not to allow that to happen. All right, in terms of not allowing that to happen, it, a lot of Nigerian football fans have been criti were criticizing the formation of the team during Cro Croatia. Are we expecting to see any changes at all? Well, that's what unfair, you know, because uh, the same formation the team plays to qualify to the World Cup, the same formation the team have been working on for the last two years, and it's been working for them. They, be, uh, they hardly lost a game until the friendly matches started. Uh, they will qualify without losing a game. The first to qualify in Africa with a game to prepare. You uh, play in the same formation. So I guess it's not fair to criticize the formation. But at times when you are away at war, when what you are working on is not going for you, you have to think about alternatives. And that's why even during our friendly games, you can see the, the team play several formations and this. And so now it's up to the team and the coaches to decide what they want to do. But it's our belief that that formation has been working for us. Even the match against uh, Croatia, if not for the mistakes, at least you could have get something out of the game. So uh, it's not fair to criticize the formation or the players or uh, try to tell the coach this must be there, this must be here. It's, that's not the way to go about it. It's just to uh, support the team. They know what they are doing. They can't be here without knowing what they are doing. So they deserve to be here. All right. Thank you very much. So the team, as we've heard Shehudiko says, they deserve to be here. A lot of the football players have been going to social media and saying they're working hard to improve those mistakes and they're hoping to bounce back against Iceland. Mimi Fawaz in Volgograd, Russia for Kwesi Sports.